An Eagle police officer is out of surgery at this hour after getting shot two times this morning following a chase and following a mo motorcycle. New tonight, the Ada County Sheriff's Office says the injured officer put a tourniquet on himself to stop the bleeding after getting shot in the arm and the shoulder. That officer is going to recover. Now, deputies say that 21 year old Matthew Kelly of Emmett is now in custody. He's charged with aggravated battery. In an interview you're seeing first on CBS 2, a man who says he owns the motorcycle involved in today's chase talks about what it's like to have it gone. Hit third gear about where that pallet is. Joey Galvin walks his Caldwell property tonight with a lot of questions. I just don't know what would drive somebody to want to come out and, and take something that's not theirs. He wonders why a man targeted his property today. Was it his dirt bike and tools the person wanted? We don't know if he knew we had things or if he was just kind of hitting places. Or something else. Cabinets were open, drawers were open. In his garage, he describes yeah. what led him to believe the bike was first gone. When somebody pulled the manual deal, open it up and my bike's gone. The dirt bike he planned to ride with his daughter for her birthday tomorrow. A deputy took his report seriously. Now 30 seconds into our conversation, he spots the guy. He gets off the phone with me and goes after the guy. As it wasn't the first time he's had something stolen. So there's this security camera here that picked him up. He put up the security cameras after another bike theft several months ago. Tonight, Joey's keeping things in perspective. My bike's my bike, it sucks. Uh, the tools are the tools, it sucks. We'll get it back. And keeping his thoughts on a local police officer. If we found out he had, he had fired at an officer, um, which is the worst part of the whole thing. Now, the Ada County Sheriff's Office says the father of the suspect helped them locate the 21 year old Matthew Kelly. They ended up arresting the father as well on unrelated burglary charges. Both men will be in court tomorrow afternoon. As new information is released, we'll share it with you during these newscasts on IdahoNews.com as well.